Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that bell for the latest videos. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to make snowball cookies. I'm making these for tomorrow, of course, for Thanksgiving. So I did insert in the beginning, um, you'll have the recipe as well as the products that I'm using. They're just, guys are so simple. Just like the flan recipe, it's so simple. You guys can make this for a party you're going to if you don't want to do something um, extravagant, things like that. So let's start with, you want to have, you're going to use one cup of butter that's been softened. So I'm going to go ahead and add this butter to this bowl. We'll start off with that. I don't know why I just squeezed that like that, but just get the butter into the bowl. <laughs> okay. Oops. Okay. So you want to have softened butter, room temperature butter. If it's not room temperature, I just pop this in the microwave for 20 seconds to loosen it up a little bit. Okay. So you want to start off with your one cup of butter softened. Next, you're going to go ahead and put your sugar, which is one third cup sugar. Go ahead and grab your sugar. Granulated sugar, okay? So go ahead and put your sugar in. Next, you're gonna go ahead and put your salt. And your salt is, I got my salt right here. Um, you're gonna use your salt next, and that is going to be one fourth teaspoon. So let me get that. Okay, so your salt's in there. And then last but not least, you wanna get your vanilla, which is two teaspoons. So you wanna use your vanilla extract. Get this up a little bit for you guys to see. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Okay, that's it, guys, for now. Okay, for right now, that's it, but look how simple this is. So what you wanna do is go ahead and mix that up. You can use a blender if that's easier for you. You really don't need a blender, though, guys. You can pretty much just do this by hand. Okay, do you see how that's looking? Next, after you whip this up, I just got a new bag of flour. You want to go ahead and get your flour ready, which you're going to be doing two cups of flour, and you're going to gradually add that flour to that mix, okay? Sorry, I'm just trying to get into this flour without it going everywhere. Okay, so like I said, two cups of the flour, gradually. half of the cup get that mixed in see how it's starting to become a little doughy get the other half in now again two cups okay guys do you see how simple this is these are um one of my favorite cookies my nana used to make these um, she would add nuts, which is actually part of the recipe that you can use them. You can use finely ground pecans, um, which I do not do because my dad's allergic. So I use chocolate chips. You can actually use both as well. All right, so keep mixing in the flour. See how it's starting to get it to be a dough? Okay, the other half. I just have a little bit of butter in this dish. I want to get in there. Okay. All right, so, so far, just to recap, we have a third cup of sugar, um, one cup of butter, two teaspoons of the vanilla, one fourth teaspoon of the salt. We are mixing them all together to form a dough. See how that's looking so far? 
keep going with it. <clears throat> you will be using your hands as well, so make sure you have clean, dry hands. Keep mixing. You gotta get that butter and the flour and everything all married into one. Okay. All right, so at this point, you now wanna add your, like I said, you can do two cups of pecans, you can do one cup of pecans and one cup of chocolate chips. I'm doing about two cups of chocolate chips. I have the mini semi-sweet morsels here. Okay, and these are 12 ounces. So I'm just gonna pretty much add, let's just do the whole bag. Okay, because that should be plenty. You see how that's becoming a nice dough? So after you mix this up, guys, you're gonna go ahead and put this in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. Um, and then after 20 minutes, you're gonna bring it out and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what you gotta do after that. Okay, so okay, guys, so what you wanna do is your, your um, batter is now in the refrigerator. It's been in there for about 20 minutes. You're gonna put about a cup and a half um, of powdered sugar in a bowl, just like so. I just eyeball it. You don't wanna put too much and waste it, but that's about how much I put. Okay, so once you go ahead and get that in there, I will show you what we're gonna do next. Okay guys, so now that your batter has been in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes, you're gonna go ahead and preheat your oven. Um, you want it at 350, because these will be going in for about 15 minutes. So what you're gonna do is, you have your powdered sugar off to the side, because you're not gonna be using that yet. You wanna wash, of course, <laughs> I mean, of course, wash your hands, dry your hands, um, have clean hands. And do you see that's what the, the dough's looking like? So go ahead and grab a spoon. I just wanna loosen this up a little bit. We're gonna be rolling these into balls. I don't know if you've ever made meatballs, but it's basically the same concept. You wanna get them into um, balls that resemble like a golf size ball, okay? Just break down if there's a little bit of chunky pieces. Just break that down. So again, um, these will be going in the oven for 350 um, for 15 minutes. So let's get these balls rolling. So you want to grab your cookie sheets, which I'm going to put off to the side. I just want to show you how, how big you're going to roll them. So just go ahead and kind of like, you want to just get this dough into a, see how it's very loose? Just go ahead and mash it up till it's more of a, like that consistency you can start rolling them okay so you have to kind of press them if that makes sense so here's here's what the size you're looking at okay that's about how big you want the ball so you're gonna go ahead and put that on your cookie sheet and just keep rolling Okay guys, so here you have it. They're all on the, the boards, okay? So I have about three in a row here. So this has about 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, wait, two, four, six, eight, 10. Wow, I'm out of it. Um, yeah, 22, I was correct. So once they're all rolled, they are on their sheets. Okay, you can see them all. You're gonna pop these in the oven, like I said, for 15 minutes. You do not wanna overcook them. Okay, you want to make sure you watch them. Okay guys, so here's the part where you're going to use your powdered sugar. Again, you have your powdered sugar in your bowl. We're going to go ahead and grab some wax paper. If you don't have wax paper, you don't have to have it. I'm going to use these to cool off my cookies on the second round of rolling them in the powder and I'll explain exactly what that means in one moment but go ahead and get your wax paper out put that off to the side the cookies are out of the oven they're just cooling on the top of the stove you want them to be semi-cooled 
Um, you want them to be a little bit warm still because next we're going to be rolling them in the powdered sugar and that's going to be coming up next. Um, I'd say cool them for about 10, 5 to 10 minutes, okay? Because you still want them to be a little bit warm to touch so the sugar sticks to them. But we'll do that in about 10 minutes. Let me guys so I'm back. The cookies are pretty cooled off. They're, I think, ready. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the pan. I'll put it right here. You won't see that. Here's the pan. Do you see? I'm putting it right here. So what you're going to do is take your cookie. This is what the bottom is kind of going to look like. And then this is what they look. They don't spread out. They stay as a ball when they cook. Just a heads up. You're going to drop it right there in that sugar. You can use your hand or you can, you know, just um, get a spoon if you want. Roll it around right there in that sugar. See? And this is what I was trying to explain. I'm going to set this off on that cookie sheet. I'm sorry, the wax paper. Okay, because we're going to do two rounds of the sugar. So this is round one. Okay. So go ahead and roll them up. Like I said, after they sat there for about five, ten minutes. Um, round two is just putting them right back in the powder again. Do you see how much more powder is on them? So go ahead and do that. Okay guys, I'm all done. I cleaned up uh, all my dishes and stuff, so I have them sitting on the plate that they're gonna be on. You guys don't have to refrigerate them, just make sure you do. Um, seal them properly in a container. I'm just going to be covering these up with foil. We'll be eating them tomorrow. So, but if you plan on storing them longer, I definitely put them in a container with a sealed lid. But this is what they look like. All done. Don't they look so good? Delicious. Okay, so enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, definitely comment below. But I hope you enjoy your snowball cookies and check me out for my next video.